Saturday's Metropolitan meeting takes place at Rose Hill and the stable is well represented across the card. Takamachi will run in the Lord Mayor's Cup over 2,000 metres. How did he pull up after his most recent trial at Rose Hill? Yeah, he's done well, Takamachi. He's been ticking over nicely. Uh, he ran over an unsuitable distance first up, 1,400 metres. I thought he stuck on stuck on well. Uh, just the speed of that race just had, it, had him out of his comfort zone for a long way. So stepping up to 2,000 metres, I think we can see some, some good improvement. He's versatile in the conditions. Uh, so I'm expecting a, an improved performance from his first up run. Surf Dancer won his most recent trial at Rose Hill and he will take his position in the benchmark 88 handicap over 1500 metres. What are your expectations of this gelding by Lope de Vega? Uh, he's in excellent order. Uh, I think he's shown good improvement since his, since his first up run. Uh, going back to the trials, he's up to a more suitable distance. Uh, he, he's really in, in, in excellent order, has been training well. Uh, the, the, the ground's not necessarily to his liking, uh, but hopefully his class can get him, get him through. Perfect Radiance will seek her first win this preparation in the benchmark 78 handicap over 1800 metres for Gori Stud. Tell us about her chances. Uh, I think she's training a, a lot better and racing a lot better than what her, her form may suggest. Uh, she's stuck on, stuck on very well after leading up at a good tempo there last start. She just wasn't necessarily able to uh, really let down uh, in, in the heavy conditions. Uh, she's stretching out in trip uh, up to the 800 metres where uh, I think that'll be much more suitable for her. Uh, she's fitter now, being third up, uh, and, and really looking to see a peak performance from her on Saturday. Rangatoa won his last start impressively over 1,400 metres. On Saturday, he will step up and trip to 1,500 metres when taking his position in the benchmark 72 handicap. Do you think he has another win up his sleeve? Yeah, most certainly. A nice progressive type of horse. Uh, that was a, a very brave effort uh, first up when, when, when resuming. Uh, he carried a big weight uh, on those conditions off a long layoff, so... Uh, you'd certainly think that there's uh, improvement to come uh, just in, in general race fitness. Uh, the added distance shouldn't pose a problem for him. We've seen him versatile in those conditions. Uh, so what we've seen, he looks to have trained on well. Uh, so hoping, hoping for another forward performance from him. Vinny's spirit has enjoyed two trial wins and a second place finish so far this preparation. This two-year-old colt by I Am Invincible will run in the two-year-old handicap over 1,200 metres. Do you have high hopes for him to notch his first win? I certainly do. Uh, he, he's a really talented colt. Uh, I thought it was a, an excellent first up performance. He, he stuck on stuck on very well. Uh, he just didn't enjoy the heavy conditions and, and therefore wasn't quite able to sprint as well as we, we know he can. Uh, hopefully we can see him back on top of the ground at Rose Hill. We're enjoying some uh, good dry conditions at present. So that'll be the, the key to his chances and the key to him taking his spot uh, in the race on Saturday. But uh, no doubt there's improvement. The 1200 metres should suit. As I said, we just need the track conditions to help him out. Dawn Passage put in a huge effort when last seen finishing third in the Archer at Rockhampton. On Saturday, he will run in the BRC Sprint at Doombin Racecourse. How did he pull up after his last start? Uh, excellent. Uh, that was a really, really brave performance from him there. Uh, that was his first run for us as a gelding and certainly looked a, a lot more genuine. Uh, he seems to be sort of really enjoying himself at present, enjoying his training. He's, he's very focused and, and really applying himself at present. Uh, seems to have come through that run really well. He's enjoying his time in Queensland. Uh, it looks a lovely race for him. Should be better suited at the weight conditions here. Uh, tricky draw to contend with once again, uh, but certainly feel he's shown uh, some good improvement from his run in the Archer. Newcastle will host Saturday's provincial meeting. Decisive move will run in the benchmark 64 handicap over 1300 metres. What expectations do you have of this filly by American Pharaoh? Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing her resume. Uh, she showed a nice progression last time in. Uh, particularly once we can see her over a, a bit further. Uh, but in saying that, she's forward enough and sharp enough for, for this first up performance here. Uh, she's she's trialled well and, and her work's been right up to the mark since. Star Sparks will seek his first win this campaign in the benchmark 64 handicap over 1,600 metres. Do you think he can claim his second win over this distance? Yeah, the key is him stepping back out to the mile. Uh, I thought he stuck on stuck on well uh, first up performance. He didn't necessarily uh, love those conditions. Uh, Newcastle can be a good good drying track for him, so uh, hoping to see see that for him on Saturday. But the key, as I said, back up at the sixteen hundred meters. I think he'll perform well for us.